This is um, the uh, 8 Bit Rocket video podcast number one. Uh, this is Steve and this is Jeff. Jeff. And we're trying this out for the first time. A couple of people asked us, they thought it would be funny if we did a video podcast because Jeff and I tend to sometimes argue with one another. And we fight. And, and, and my dad used to say, I'll get you guys a couple of purses and you can fight it out. Yeah. Well, we don't have purses. Although that would have been a good, that probably would have been a good addition yeah, to this. Um, we actually um, were going to wear our Snuggies for this one too. But anyway. well, we've decided that we're going to do a, a video podcast and see how it works. And we have 10 minutes max and we've already wasted 49 seconds of it with introduction. So right. let's just break right into it. Okay. The first thing we want to talk about is the, the reason why we haven't done any podcasts in a while. Why would that be, Steve? The reason we haven't done any podcasts in a while is that Jeff and I got lazy. Yeah, we're lazy bums. The real reason, besides us getting lazy, is that we had nothing to talk about. We yeah. ran out of things to talk about our podcast. We were doing our Game Storm podcast, and it was fun. Um, we did an Atari Nerd podcast, one, and we wanted to do another Atari Nerd podcast. The only problem with the Atari Nerd podcast is... There was nothing to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we ran out of things to talk about. There's not much going on in the Atari scene, and retro is a bit... Um, retro. Retro at this point. Yeah. So, um, we've decided that we'll start up our regular Game Storm, our 8-Bit Rocket Game Storm podcast, but we'll do it this way as a video podcast, and just see how it goes. Yes. Um, so anyway, that's why we haven't done a, a, a regular podcast or audio podcast. And but this time we're going to do a video. Oh, Our first topic is the 4K game competition, which is what Urban 4K, Squall, Urban or Squall, and, and, game uh, poetry, and, uh, game poetry, and and gamingyourway.com sponsored contest. Um, By the way, there should be some magic images floating maybe, in and out on this screen. Yeah, something's gonna you happen. Know, if, if this isn't just raw video, there may be some cool stuff going on. We just don't know yet. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Maybe. If there isn't, then Steve got lazy. So imagine Urban Squall's logo or Game Poetry's logo spinning in. Yeah. If it doesn't happen, then we wanted it to happen. Um, and maybe, maybe you know, Steve didn't have time. But um, 4K game competition. Today, um, it, right now, it is for us in, in the West Coast in California. It's about 2 p.m. on Friday the 13th of, of March. And the game, um, uh, 4K game contest entries have been posted and neither one of our games got any close to winning in fact the, the reviewers pretty much ripped mine apart uh, mine was a uh, mine x 4k which is sort of my way to squeeze a, a sort of scrolling sector based asteroids game slash geometry wars into 4k and was Steve. sort of how to make mine was uh, neon bricks 4k which kind of like a breakout arknoid style game sort of 4k and um and neither one of them got anywhere close i think in fact, I'm not even going to vote for mine in the audience. There's two yeah, 3D it would, it's games. It's almost like awesome. it would be embarrassing to vote for yours. Because yeah, if you like, get one vote, it'd be like, like, well, he voted for his own. Yeah, Jack, yes, voted for his own. So, um, anyway, the games that won were very deserving. Um, one is a Staroids or Asteroids. It's an Asteroids game. Um, basically, a, sort of a physics-based, particle-based Asteroids game. Not traditional. Mine was pretty traditional. Um it was a very interesting game, very very well done. Um, and Dungeon Romp, which was basically a a, a, a three a, a game based on two D and three D dungeon crawl at the same time. No monsters because right. not a lot of graphics, but very well done. And actually, I would like to play the final version of that one. Yeah, there's, both, whereas Asteroids is a fun game. Dungeon Romp is one that I would actually go back to and play. Yeah, and there's a few others too. And I'm gonna have a blog entry later just in text. Where I kind of go through the entire, a lot of the contest and some of the things about hey, my. the cat's coming through. Yeah, there's the cat. Um, woo! In a anyway, second, the cat's um, going to beg me to go outside. Buddy. Yeah, okay, well, that's what happens when you do the video. We started looking at micro, Microsoft Silverlight, which is Microsoft's sort of replacement for Flash. We also looked at Java FX for all of about 10 seconds and decided that it was still Java it, and we it, weren't it, ready to go. And there. Uh, let's say uh, I actually might make a game of Java FX. I don't think it's bad, I just don't think it's, it's really hard. Um, to get the plot. I mean, not everyone has Java. I have like nine different versions of Java on my machine and they don't all work. And so once I figure that part out, maybe I will um, do something with Java. Right. And I, and I, I decided one day I just look at um, Silverlight and I know that makes Flash people upset because Silverlight Microsoft. is Microsoft. But guess what? This is being recorded on a Mac. So yeah. Steve and I are not Recording Microsoft Mac, goons or anything I, like that. I, I, just, I do do my Silverlight work in a uh, virtual machine. On, on a Mac. virtual machine yeah. on my Mac. But I just say that um, Silverlight, while it's not as good as Flash at all, um, there are some advantages to Silverlight right now. 
not over Flash, which is advantages to doing it in that nobody else is doing it. And there are a lot of Microsoft shops that want people to do Silverlight. I think a good idea to at least explore Silverlight. We've been doing it somewhat on the blog. We're making some games in Silverlight. But I want to talk about a couple contests. Microsoft, you know how there's tons of Flash game contests? Well, Microsoft basically is the only one sponsoring contests for Silverlight. But there's two of them out there. There's a five thousand dollars for it's called um, Silver Quest. It's a, it's some online yeah. show or something. I'm not really familiar with it, but um, you can get the links to it from our um, Silverlight blog, and that's five five k. Um, they do have they have they don't have um, they don't say they're going to steal your code. So that's and then there's a um, another contest at Doctor Dobbs. It's a ten thousand dollar contest. Um, and they are also a game contest, but some of that is about conf the, um, mod modding a game they already have. Um, mm. But there is one thing about actually making a game. Yeah. But again, um, people are starting to do contests. Again, they're backed by Microsoft. But but when has Adobe sponsored a game contest for Flash? They might have a long time. I, I don't know if they have. I haven't heard it in, in recent recent time. You know, I'm ignorant to what they've done in the past. But it's nice to see that Microsoft is putting some money behind it. Yeah, they do. One um, thing um, about a contest like that would be, um, uh, you know. I, I plan to take the game that I made for the 4K game contest and make, a, I think, a 100K version because I want sounds and stuff in there. That might be the game that I would do for the Silverlight contest. I'm not quite sure. Um, Silverlight right now is not as mature as um, Flex. Yeah, version Flex 3 platform. is coming out, and, and, we, and we, we do have access to the beta There's, version 3. Yeah, we have access to it, and the problem with it right now is uh, trying to translate all of my bleeding code into Silverlight doesn't work because they don't have access to bitmaps. There's anymore. tons of stuff. They don't have sound. is crap in Silverlight. Yeah, so, bitmaps are crap in Silverlight. But maybe Silverlight. 3 is supposed to fix um, that. Yeah, but one nice thing about Sil Silverlight is that um, translating your Silverlight code to XNA code that then could run on the Xbox um, Live Arcade or, or, um, is is not easy, but easier because you're still working in Visual Studio and C Sharp, and there's some classes that you change around and make, make it work. So there is that that um, av avenue for your games that really doesn't exist for Flash right now. Right. What? Okay. So um, on and, and, and uh, we're new, running up on ten minutes. Another mochi. Mochi, um, both Steve and I, a um, little cheeky, I, I don't think they're going to do very well, but we threw Mochi ads in, and um, high scores into our 4K games just to see how much bigger they'd get and threw them on Mochi and on our site. And um, One thing to know is Mochi now has actually 3.0 of their API. It's all integrated together, not a separate pieces for high scores and ads and things like that. Very well done, works perfectly, relatively small footprint. I think it added... It's 15K to my 4K It was 4K game. in mine, but I might have using the actual um, two version. It was 4K. Mine's an AS3 right. one. I'm, mine's fully in, a, in, a, in Flash Develop and the Flex framework, so it's a little different. Um, I don't even have a copy of Flash. Yeah, I'm at a copy somewhere. Um, so I didn't even be able to try it in that. Um, if I only keep a copy of Flash around, people send me questions on our blog about Flash, and I can only answer them if they're on CS3 or before because I don't use Flash or anything else. Um, but uh, that's the only reason I have Flash around. And I still have Flash because I have about you know four dozen game makers that are unfinished that I want to. Yeah, I guess that would be the only reason to use it too. Um, and uh, well, that's it. That's the new motion. I mean, now, so that's what we got. I mean, this is our. Wait, we didn't argue enough. What's something we can argue shut about? Shut up. People Steve. think it's. Oh, um, so it's funny. Are you? Yeah, um, I don't. I don't know. People think it's funny when we argue. I guess we're going to come up with something to argue about. If you guys, if anyone actually watches, yeah, this, if you get to the end of this year's one thing, you the, if you have something you want us to argue about, no. oh, oh, one more thing, one more thing. I'm sorry. Before we go, <coughs> last week we started playing with the Google Google oh, app uh, engine. Let's keep this going. Google Google app engine you know, is awesome. Okay, Google so this is, Google this, guys, Google geniuses. Ge oh, okay. didn't you, if you didn't we, know that, yeah, everyone, Google did. guys are but, geniuses. But, I, but okay. Google app engine. Is is and and I got this from Urban Squall because they were hosting their stuff there. But the Google App Engine is is a is a cloud computing hosting. Buy this can, book. Right, that you can start building um, Python Django apps, and um, you get about five million page views a month for free. free. And I'm, free. I'm I'm certain they're going to give you more free if you use Ad AdSense when this thing actually goes live. But you can, they got it, they have, what's it called, Big File? Big, no, Big Table. Sorry, Big Table Database. You can, you can use your Google Logins and integrate with Google Logins. And basically, you can create a um, Python Django application right. in a cloud that's, that's going to be incredibly efficient compared, so, to, compared to running on your own server. I think this is something we'll get to in detail and later on, too. Right now, it's free. But we're all, Jeff and I are thinking that it might be a good place to host your, your web games. Yeah, your web games. If you want to do Make save games. Arcade. 
Uh, right. Job. Thanks for even considering watching this this time. I don't know when we're going to do another one. If this one's successful and people actually want us to do this again, you can send us something to argue about. Yeah. It might be kind of funny. Send us something to argue so, about. Um, anyway, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.